that's it our first model is ready so let's uh, create the second one as well and this is going to be again struct and this is going to be count re data and here we're going to get some uh, extra information I don't have the API call now to show it to you but what you can do is simply click on here get all countries and click on any of these and this is what you need actually country confirm cases recovered critical death longitude latitude this is the information we're going to have in our model so let's uh, quickly write this um, I'm going to copy this actually because it's um, very similar so we don't have to type extra we have confirmed cases we have critical we have deaths we have recovered plus we have longitude and latitude so I'm going to say let longitude is equals to uh, it's not equals actually it's type of double and then let latitude is type of double as well and everything else is actually the same thing so we have two objects uh, of our model two structs and the rest is uh, same just uh, one thing I'm going to change here um, I'm changing this because we may uh, actually no there is one extra thing we have here is the country which is the country name we have forgotten here let me just put it uh, this is type of string so I'm going to um, change the int and convert it to int 16 uh, I'm sorry 64 and the reason I'm doing this is in case if you want to use core data later on this will be handy for you otherwise it just doesn't make any difference uh, for our current code all right um, let's get back to our model here um, our fetch uh, file and now we can use our model to actually uh, create a model item from our this response whatever we are receiving because we know that we are printing something out so we can access this data here and the way we are going to do it let me just get rid of this part here I'm going to create a result variable um, it's a constant result and this is going to be close to our response that we are getting from our alarm of fire request and then I want to grab the data and you can see this is a type of data and it's an optional so once we have a result I want to make sure that we have a result so we say if result is not equals to nil and if it's not we can proceed and use it I'm going to say let JSON is equals to and here we are using our Swifty JSON and pass our result and I can force unwrap it because I'm sure it's not nil we just checked it here and now if I say print JSON the small one we should be able to see the exact same printout that we had before but now we are using our Swift JSON so let's just run our application again and you can see we have the information again printing out and see this is nicely formatted JSON string now so I'm going to comment out this line because we may need it for debugging um, what we want to create right now is a total data which is our model that we have created together so let's uh, take this uh, JSON response and create a total data to make our life easier um, I'm going to break it down into sections so let's create a local variables for confirmed and this is going to be equals to JSON small letter remember we're using this and by looking at our data here printout you can um, understand what we are going to get so this is an array you can see on top 
and we have dictionaries inside. So currently we have only one dictionary. So this is in our array at position zero because in Swift we have zero based arrays. They start at zero. So we access our JSON and say we want the uh, first item in our array because there is no other items we're going to get. It's only the total value. This is always correct. And then we want to access each key. So we have key value pairs. So now for my confirmed, I want to access the key confirmed. And just not to have any typos, I'm going to get them from here. And this, I'm going to say that this is an integer. So I'm going to say int value. I want the int value of this. And quickly copy and pasting this four times. The second one is going to be called dev. And I'm going to get the dev from here. And it's again int value. Uh, let's get the confirmed. We just change the key values and then the criticals. Um, we are missing the recovered, so let's do the recovered as well. So we have confirmed, death, recovered, and critical, and the same keys here. Make sure you get the exact keys, otherwise your data will not match. So once we have these four variables, I can say um, total data, and I can create one with uh, confirmed, I just pass my confirm cases here. Critical, I pass my critical. Death, we pass the deaths. And recovered, we pass our recovered. So right now we have created a total data object. And we can return this to the function that is calling us. So what um, is a good way to do this? Because we have this observable object in our Swift UI. We're going to notify everyone who is listening for this uh, file that uh, one of these uh, variables was set. So I'm going to put at published. We're going to publish this information and say var, and I'm going to say total data. And this is going to be type of total data. And I want to give this um, default value in case if we don't get anything there uh, from our code here, we want to have some uh, dummy default value. And for this, I'm going to go to my model here and underneath, I'm going to just create a total data. Actually, let's call this let uh, test total data is equals to total data. And I'm going to just create something confirmed, let's say 200 critical, 100 death, 20 recovered, 50, any number you want. And uh, while we are at it, let's uh, create um, test country data as well. And this is going to be equals to country data. And again, just confirmed any number, let's put it, um, the country is actually going to be um, test, confirmed, let's say 500, critical 300, death 200, recovered 100, uh, longitude, latitude, I'm just going to put zero and zero. So we have two test objects there. So this is going to be equals to test total. You may not get it, just command B in order to build and this will recognize the new code we just wrote. And uh, we can continue typing and autocomplete is already available. Because the total uh, information is only one, we just can return it. And also I'm going to create another uh, publishable variable and this is going to be our country. Uh, but since we have many countries, we're going to return an array of country data. So I'm going to call this all 
country and it's going to be array of country data and it's going to be equal to an empty array um, this part is not going to be used for now we're going to add it later on but um, right now what we want to do in case if our result is not nil I want to say self dot and then we say uh, total data is equals to the total data we have just created so we set this variable and I'm sorry this one and once we set this one everybody because we are publishing this information whoever has created our COVID fetch request is going to be informed about this and in case if we have nil here I'm going to say else and let's say um, self dot total data is equals and you can create any total data again or you can use our test total data here it doesn't matter because we want to give something back because this is called in the background and once we have set the variable we want to uh, inform whoever is listening to our code that they can get the information right um let's let's test it let's go to um, our content view here and we have this code what we want to do is let's see if we can actually instead of saying hello world i'm going to access my covid fetch dot total data dot let's get the confirmed cases um of course we need to convert this to a string so i'm just doing a string interpolation because this is an integer So you can see that the total case is here confirmed is 508,000, which is not correct actually. Let's quickly check what we have here. Okay, see, I have confirmed and then it says recovered. That's why we are getting the wrong information. That's why it's good to make sure that your keys and values are matching so if I rerun we should see some 2 million yeah 2 million 53,000 so um, our information our API is returning the current uh, information which is good um, another thing we need to do is to write the function that is going to fetch all the countries for us 